Structural wood, or mass wood as it's more commonly called, is the subject of the hype. Well, this is just the introduction. The best is yet to come. In today's video, we'll be talking about the best wooden house construction technologies you've never heard of. Starting off with the log cabin construction. The gap between a cabin house and a regular house is rapidly narrowing as time goes on. Owners have started putting grill counters, open bars, and other amenities that are typical of cabin houses in normal houses, while cabin houses are now increasingly becoming equipped with amenities found in regular houses. The cost of a wood cabin varies depending on the features and customization a client wants inside. A cabin home is built and constructed outside of a city, frequently next to a forest or a jungle, to provide its owner with a tranquil getaway location. Often, millions of dollars are spent on construction of these homes, which are frequently given to well-known contractors from throughout the globe. This involves building a house out of logs, typically using an interlocking joint system to hold the logs in place. The Straw Bale Construction a building technique called straw bale construction makes use of straw bales or bundles. The use of straw bales for insulation, structural support, or both is possible. Typically, straw bale construction methods entail stacking rows of bales on a raised foundation or footing. Although straw bale homes are relatively uncommon, the method is becoming more popular as a result of the rising popularity of sustainable architecture. The entire process produces waste materials, which can have a negative environmental impact. Any extra straw or natural plaster can theoretically be used on site in compost or as ground cover to protect the soil. This involves using bales of straw as an insulating material, either as the primary structural element or as a fill material. Gablock Construction – A Lego-like Construction Insulated blocks made by Gablock are easy to use, quick to put together, upgradable, lightweight, and energy efficient. Most importantly, they provide a quick and effective method for doing your house construction. Insulated blocks, insulated lintels, and beams are all part of the Gablock self-building home concept in addition to a unique floor system. Light Straw Clay Construction This is a type of straw bale construction that involves the use of a mixture of straw and clay as a building material. In told, non-load-bearing walls in wood-framed construction, light straw clay, a mixture of straw and clay, is used as an infill. Light straw clay has a lot of benefits, including the raw ingredients, which are straw and clay, which are readily available locally in the majority of Japan. Light straw clay walls can be built with relatively inexpensive equipment that is readily accessible. Last but not least, after demolition, the walls can properly degrade without ending up in a landfill. Cross-Contaminated Timber, or CLT this is a type of engineered wood product made from layers of lumber glued together at the right angles. Layers of kiln-dried dimensional lumber aligned at the right angles to one another are stacked to create CLT, an engineered wood product, which is then joined to create structural panels. The walls, roofs, floors, and ceilings of a building can be constructed of CLT as an alternative to concrete. Multi-story, taller wood construction benefits most from the use of CLT. Since CLT chars, it naturally resists fire, just like other mass timber products. This external char acts as a protective coating and keeps strength in the event of a fire. Structural Insulated Panels, or SIPs Structural insulated panels or SIPs are a high-performance building technology for the construction of homes and small businesses. An insulating foam core is layered between two structural facings, usually orientated strand board, to make up the panels. The airtight building envelope of an SIP home or commercial structure restricts incoming air to controlled ventilation, which filters out toxins and allergens, giving the building owner superior control over indoor quality. SIP walls and roofing are carefully planned and constructed off-site. The building may be rendered watertight and quickly erected on site in a matter of days. These are panels made from a layer of insulating foam sandwiched between two layers of wood or other structural material. Next on the list is Autoclaved Aerated Concrete, one best concrete house construction technology videos. If you want to learn about the best concrete house construction technologies, make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can watch our next video. Autoclaved Aerated Concrete or AAC AAC, or autoclaved aerated concrete, is concrete that has been produced with sealed air pockets. Blocks or panels are how it's presented. Energy efficient and reasonably light, AAC is resilient and lightweight, does not burn, provides great fire protection and insulation, and can bear relatively heavy weights. AAC comes in panels and blocks. Although they're typically used for cladding, AAC wall panels can support big loads. This type of concrete is made with a high protection of air bubbles, making it lighter and more insulating than traditional concrete. Insulated Concrete Forms, or ICFs 
Cast in place concrete walls with two layers of insulation material between them are the result of insulating concrete forms or ICFs. These technologies are robust and power saving. Low rise buildings with a variety of land use, from residential to commercial to industrial, are typical applications for this type of construction. These are blocks or panels made from insulating foam that is used to create formwork or poured concrete walls. Now back to our wood technologies. Rammed Earth Construction The construction method known as rammed earth is a pendant of adobe and cob construction. Walls for a wide range of structures, including homes and museums, can be constructed using it. Rammed earth construction relies heavily on formwork and better formwork results in a quicker, more precise construction process. This involves using a mixture of soil, clay and other materials to create sturdy, load-bearing walls. Earth Ships there is no particular way to build earthships because they are incredibly distinctive structures. Typically, tires filled with earth, cans, glass bottles, and cement make up these structures. The earthship is designed to have the least negative environmental impact as possible. These residences produce their electricity, control the temperature, and even supply food and water. These houses are made from recycled materials, including tires filled with earth, designed to be energy efficient and self-sustaining. Glue Lamb Construction Several wood boards or wood iams are stacked on top of one another and glued together with a strong, moisture-resistant adhesive to create glue lamb, which is a glued laminated timber. It's made up of layers of laminated wood that have been adhered together so that the grain of the wood runs parallel to the member's longitudinal axis. This involves using laminated timber beams and columns to create a large structural element for a building. Wood-based 3D printing since about 2012, wood polymers for manufacturing techniques have become more common. With the use of three-dimensional or 3D printing technology, intricate structures may be created from a variety of raw materials. The use of natural binders and wood powder can thus produce 3D printed goods that are more environmentally friendly. More study is required because 3D printing is still a new technology with various possibilities. This involves using a 3D printer to create structural elements or even entire buildings out of wood or wood-based materials. Wood Plastic Composite Construction Composite materials called Wood Plastic Composite, or WPCs, are created by using wood-based components with plastic fibers. WPCs are also known as fiberglass timber, are frequently used to build modular building homes, park benches, door frames, and indoor and outdoor housewares. They're also used to design and create outdoor board floors. This involves using a mixture of wood fibers and plastic to create building materials that are stronger and more durable than traditional wood. And lastly, bamboo construction. This involves using bamboo as a building material, either as a structural element or for finishes and decorative elements. Bamboo is a strong, sustainable material that is widely used in construction in many parts of the world. Because it grows well in portions of the southern and eastern regions of India, bamboo has been employed extensively in traditional homes. Using the exception of the fireplace and chimneys, practically every component of the house has been built with bamboo in its organic shape. And with this, we have come to the end of today's video and it's time to say goodbye. But before that, make sure to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel Build Tech for more such interesting videos and updates. Make sure to press the notification bell on the left so that you never miss any updates from the channel and we'll see you in the next video.